the Subaru Crosstrek is a fine vehicle, with its competent all-wheel drive system and generous cargo capacity, but for those Subaru fans who own stock and work in stock and eat nothing but granola, its purely internal combustion engine is an affront to all that is decent. Thankfully, Subaru understands this part of its demographic and is ready to pull the sheet off of its first ever plug-in hybrid and resurrect the Crosstrek hybrid nameplate. That's right kids, now you can drive your tiny little mountain goat of a car on pure electrons around town, but still enjoy the benefits of a hybrid gas electric drive a train on longer trips. Subaru is a little light on details regarding the official specs of the Toyota-derived plug-in system, making no mention of its pure electric range or even equivalent fuel economy. Still, we're pretty excited, because in addition to the financial and ecological benefits of going plug-in hybrid, we're excited to see the Crosstrek get some sorely needed power and torque increases from its electric motors as that's historically been the weak point of the platform. Subaru has said that the Crosstrek Hybrid will be available in dealers toward the end of 2018, but didn't offer any details as to price. At the proverbial 11th hour, the budget-friendly 2018 Nissan Versa has gained $200 worth of additional safety and convenience gear, a rear-view camera paired to a 7.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system with a USB input. That additional equipment adds $100 to $200 to the Versa's base price, depending on the trim level. The least expensive Versa S now costs $13,195 including a mandatory $885 destination charge. The Versa S Plus base price climbs $200 to $15,535, while the top-of-the-line Versa SV now costs $16,825, a $100 increase. All three trims are still among the least costly new cars on the market in the U.S. Nissan brands the updated Versus as 2018 May model year vehicles. The additional gear isn't a generous gift from Nissan as much as it is a move to make the vehicles compliant with federal law. As of May 1st, rear-view cameras are required on all new passenger cars in the U.S. The 2018 Versa was one of the last new vehicles to not include a rear-view camera as standard equipment. Dealers will likely have 2018 and 2018.5 Versa subcompact cars on their lots for a while, meaning shoppers interested in the extra features may need to look closely before signing on the dotted line. The all-new 2019 Subaru Ascent SUV rolled off the assembly line in Lafayette, Indiana. AGO Gino, Subaru president and CEO was on hand for the historic moment. It's the largest sub ever built and is made for active families who like to consume lots of beverages. It has at least 19 cup holders and up to 6 USB ports for starters. We first saw the Ascent at last year's Los Angeles Auto Show and were impressed. Like the American-assembled Volkswagen Atlas, the Ascent was designed exclusively for the North American market. The Ascent seats 7 or 8 passengers depending on trim level and has a 113.8-inch wheelbase. It measures 196.8 x 76.0 x 71.6 inches. There's 153.5 cubic feet of passenger volume and two rows of 60-40 split-flat folding seats that offer up to 72.6 cubic feet of cargo space for gear. Standard goodies included a 6.5-inch touchscreen, three-zone auto climate control, an EyeSight driver assist system, and here's the best part it's Android Auto and Apple CarPlay friendly. Under the hood, all Ascents pack a 2.4-liter turbo flat 4 with 260 horsepower and 277 pounds FT of torque. It's mated to a continuously variable transmission, CVT. 
The 2019 Subaru Ascent starts at $32,970 and goes on sale in the US and Canada this summer. Subaru says more than 4,500 of the new SUVs have been ordered and if you are thinking of trading up now is probably a good time to place your order. In a crossover crazy world, perhaps Nissan's Altima has concluded, if you can't beat M, join M. Although all-wheel drive is routinely offered, and frequently standard, on car-based crossover utility vehicles, it's a relative rarity among mainstream mid-size family sedans. Altima will level that playing field when its 2019 edition arrives, offering optional four-corner traction for the first time ever. And that AWD option will be available under each of Altima's five trims, S, SR, SV, SL and Platinum. But greasy stuff news isn't limited to attractive talent. Also hidden under an updated wardrobe is a new engine lineup and a reworked suspension. Regarding motors, Altima, like many of its competitive set, is getting out of the V6 business. Replacing the current 3.5-liter V6S Ultima's upgrade engine will be an all-new 2.0-liter turbo 4 that makes 248 horsepower and 273 pounds FTF torque. Although that 4-banger represents a loss of 22 horsepower compared to the 6, it compensates via an increase of 22 pounds FTF grunt. The base Ultima engine, compatible in all trims with all-wheel drive, remains a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated i4. However, the engine, Nissan says, has been significantly revised with 80% of its parts either new or redesigned. As a result, horsepower is up, now 188 compared to the outgoing versions 179, and torque is modestly boosted by 3 pounds FT to 180. Regardless what's under the hood or how many wheels provide grip, Power will be managed, as it is now, exclusively by Nissan's Tronic CVT Automatic, a transmission proven impressive enough to give the belt and pulley gearbox category a good name. Nissan says, key suspension changes, include the first Ultima application of Mono 2 rear shocks, added suspension reinforcements to improve vehicle response and suspension geometry adjustments to enhance steering feedback. Also new to Ultima is some tech wizardry we recently sampled in a 2018 Nissan Rogue, Pro Pilot Assist, which eases driver workload by reducing the amount of driver acceleration, steering and braking input under certain driving conditions, such as single-lane highway driving. Although Pro Pilot Assist is the foundation for the autonomous vehicles of the future helping drivers stay lane-centered, navigate traffic and maintain a set vehicle speed and distance from the vehicle ahead, Nissan emphasizes it is not a self-driving feature. Regarding styling, the new Ultima is longer, lower and wider than the outgoing model while riding a 1.9-inch longer wheelbase. The haberdashery includes the V-mouth grille with which Nissan has become enamored, along with black accented C pillars already evident on the likes of Murano and Maxima. Inside is a lower cowl for a more spacious cabin feel, along with a standard 7.0-inch screen in the instrument cluster. Also standard is an 8.0-inch center dash screen featuring such tech goodies as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Siri Eyes Free and Google Assistant Voice Recognition. Look for the all-new Ultima this fall. No pricing at press time. Official production of the Subaru Ascent, a new three-row SUV that will seat up to eight passengers, began at Subaru's Lafayette, Indiana plant yesterday. The addition of the vehicle to the production mix signifies the addition of approximately 200 jobs and $140 million in equipment and expansion investments. Ascent joins three other Subaru models produced at the plant, Outback, Legacy and Impreza. Subaru of Indiana Automotive, Inc. SIA, has seen substantial growth in the last five years, 
adding more than 2,000 associates to the team during that period. The positive economic impact of that growth is clear in the investment Subaru has made to increase SIA's production capacity to prepare for Ascent and Impreza production. SIA invested nearly $1.5 billion over the past five years. To mark the occasion, members of the famous Subaru canine family, the Barclays, visited SIA to welcome the family vehicle to the Subaru lineup. In addition, SIA presented $8,000 in grants to four local non-profit organizations focused on animal welfare, Almost Home Humane Society, Loving Heart Animal Shelter, Natalie's Second Chance No Kill Dog Shelter and North Central Indiana Spay and Neuter. Tom Easterday, Senior Executive Vice President of SIA said, The Subaru Ascent is a great addition to our production lineup. Production of this outstanding new family vehicle allowed us to create hundreds of new jobs at SIA, and also at our suppliers in Indiana and across the country. SIA will produce about 400,000 vehicles annually with the addition of the Ascent, and SIA Associates have built over 5 million vehicles since SIA's start of production in September 1989. SIA Associates remain committed to quality, safety and environmental stewardship. The all-new 2019 Subaru Ascent will be available for sale to consumers in mid-2018. The three-row SUV is the biggest vehicle in the Subaru lineup.